Okay, so this is what you get. A pickup. And a handy dandy ruler. Nice little dabbing tool on the end. A template. Instructions. Super glue, don't be using that. A spanner and a bradle, presumably, for making holes through that. Okay. okay, so there are additional tools required. It says all, but I think they came with it. Pencil, damp cloth, masking tape, step one. Handy dandy pokey thing. Poke a hole where it tells you to. There's quite a few of them. Step two, fold along this line and take it down. thinking that you should be able to see that on this side, but it doesn't matter which way you fold it, you can't, so. Right, I've cut the arrow so you can see it. Okay, third step is thread this into the hop. I've put some blue tack on the back so that I can hold it in place, because I just think it's going to be this. Okay, so you put the template alongside the edge of the harp and you point that arrow at the very top F. It's really hard to see. It would have been easier actually if they'd done something that lines up with like something in an easier bit of the harp to get to. And you can't really see it. There's the top F is up there. You can't even really see because, as I said, the arrow is the wrong side. But it's more or less lined up. And yeah, I think it's a good idea to attach it with blue tack. Okay, and then you get your uber sharp pencil. And you go into the holes that you've made. Alright, there's four of those. Now you need to mark an X, it says, but I think that's not really necessary. About an inch down on the lining here. So about an inch down from your dot, you need to mark an X. And this can be approximate, apparently. So that's my next step, is to mark those. Okay, I've just marked it with a line, approximately an inch. Top tip. Use a soft pencil, much easier. I've used a 3B pencil because it actually is quite fiddly to get in there. Some of them, like the one up here, is right, right underneath this. So, okay, so it tells you to have the harp resting like this, but with this part at 90 degrees to the floor, but that feels really precarious, so I've just got it on its legs, I think this will be fine. And then the next step is to clean the inside with a damp cloth, which I've already done, but you don't need to see that. Okay, then we have the clips. So I've attached these clips onto the pickups before putting it into the harp. I saw somebody suggest that on a YouTube video because trying to actually fit these on with this stuck inside the harp was really fiddly and it's even smaller in a lever harp because you're doing like pedal harp so I've put them on first so maybe I'll have to find out if that was a mistake or a good idea. So I've put the clips onto the pickup strip before putting it inside the harp which is the next step. Right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do. So pick up strip, I'm going to pop this inside the harp. Okay. Fresh I see 
sound scary at all. Okay, so I'm making sure that the pickup can go on that dot. I've taken the backing off the strip and then I'm just sticking it on. You can see it doesn't quite line up with the pencil marking I made, but they did say that was approximate, so I'm sticking that on. That's the third one. One more to go. Right down in there. Right, that's in. So even though they line up really well at the top, you can't really see that, but the, the first two line up with their dots pretty well, but then they seem to get further and further away. But I guess that I can wiggle. We will see if that works all right. This point is where the super glue comes in and I'm not gonna do that because if I ever want to take it out, I don't really want to damage the back of the sandboard. So I've got command strips, the clear ones. I just cut those in half. I think that should be pretty good size. Fingers crossed. So I'm gonna stick that to the back. Ooh. back of the pickups and the, oh, it's gone inside and then I'm gonna stick that to the sandboard and then it's removable. Right, I've done the easiest one of those so that's the little tab for a minute. My only worry is if that is sort of rattly in some way. We'll find out. It's just so you can see, they go on the little dots that you made earlier. Seems to be sticking quite well, so that's good. Okay. Right, all in. Oh, and there's the dog with the ball. Okay. Now my dusty has already got the hole drilled. <laughs> I wonder how you get that out. Oh, there we go, little finger always does the trick. There we go, so I've already got the hole drilled to install the jack. And okay, so I need to deconstruct this before I can thread it through. So I have removed the tip nut the locking nut and the outer washer, retaining nut. Tip nut, retaining nut, outer washer. There's still, it looks like two more washers on there. A lock washer and an inner nut, good to know. Okay, so you need to spin this nut so that this step is it says a sixteenth of an inch, 1.5 millimetres below the outer surface of the heart body when you push it through. And they've given you the handy dandy ruler to measure that. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of guess and then put it through and hope for the best. Okay, okay serious trial and error here, so I'm holding the inside. Washer on, nut on, screw the nut up. Let go now. And there was a tool, but I'm not going to use that yet because I'm going to just check how flush, because that inside needs to be pretty flush. It's not bad, that's not bad. Okay. So they give you a clever setup to tighten it. So this holds everything in place while you tighten it with this so you get a really good tight fit. Then you screw on the tip okay. hope that it's in the right place. Okay, that looks quite good. I'm hoping that's flush. So you find out. And that's it.
plugged it into my portable amp, which is battery operated and less powerful, but I put preamp in. Platinum stage, preamp, brilliant. Okay, and this is with the AER Compact 60 with the Fishman pickup uh, preamp. <laughs> 